Let's continue on and actually get this flag spun around just a little bit so we can really manipulate these points here and get a feel for how this works. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a light and a camera. I'm going to go to Layer, New, Light, and I'm going to just choose a spotlight so we have this nice dramatic effect here of a light in the center. I'll go ahead and say OK. And as you can see right away we have this beautiful spotlight that's giving us a nice gradation along the edges. I'll go back to the layer again, choose new, and we'll add a camera. Typically I'll leave this at default, so I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now we're ready to work. So I'm going to click back on my flag layer down here. And if you don't see your effects controls and you're in a project panel, just click once again on effect controls. Now to spin this mesh around, we need to go to the 3D mesh controls and twirl it open. Now as you saw earlier, when we use the position, we move the entire mesh around. What I want to do, instead of moving this left and right along the X axis, is I want to deal with the rotation, and we have to think about which way X, Y, or Z to rotate something so that it spins on this axis so we can get the stars closer to us and the stripes further away. So if we choose X, we're not going to get the effect we want. And if we choose Z, we're going to spin it this way. But if we choose Y and we click on this guy right here, you notice that if I move my mouse left, I get this effect I'm looking for. And as I mentioned before, this plugin itself is 3D in 2D space because we don't have to turn this little cube on down here on the layer. All right, now that we've gotten our flag spun around a little bit, you can then take the X position and you can move it if you want to. Or you can go ahead and move it backwards on along the Z axis or whatever makes you comfortable. So as you can see, you can manipulate the mesh itself with the mesh controls. So what I'm going to do is twirl this back closed and we're going to go now to our control points. Now, as you remember before, we talked about under the editing controls, whether we can choose X, Y, or Z, X only, Y only, or Z only. For now, let's go ahead and put Z only on. And I'm going to grab any of these points here, and I'm going to move my mouse to the right. And you'll notice that I'm pulling this mesh like it's clay. And I have full control over this because I'm only pulling it in the axis that I chose, which is the Z. I'm going to push these in by going to the left with my mouse. And I'll do the same thing with these. I'll move these back a little bit, but not all of them. I'm trying to get a little bit of a cloth feel, so I'm going to try to get that as close as I can. I'm going to grab these here and pull these really far, like so. So you can see right away how cool this plugin is. Now let's go back to our 3D mesh controls and let's go ahead and rotate it on the Z so we can just see what happens here when you rotate it. You can actually see the actual distortion. And if I do on the X, I can flip it a little bit closer to our eye so we can really see how flat that is. Now you see the mesh is completely distorted and that is how our flag is actually being bent along this mesh. Now if you ever mess up and you want to start from the beginning, you can click right here on reset or simply click on the hot text one time and put a zero in there just to put that back to where it was. So I'll put a zero here and I'll put a zero here and now we have it flat again and now you can go ahead and just grab one of these guys and rotate your object. Now if you want to uh, manipulate the flag any further, you can simply go back to your editing controls and choose a different axis or to have full control, just put XYZ on and you can go ahead and just move some of these guys around and manipulate this mesh completely. Now you might be amazed by this because it gives you the ability to have a flat image suddenly look like a 3D object and when you move the camera around you can imagine what that would look like. We'd be able to see the rise and fall of these uh, pieces of geometry on this particular image. Likewise, you could do the same thing with a character, a cape, even a mountain range. Take a flat image of a mountain range and rise some of the po points up to get a pseudo uh, mountainly feel or desert or anything like that. 
So that is how we can use the editing controls to deform a flat image.